All right, out in our uh, RV right now, this is a fifth wheel, and we've got a new toy to play with. It's a uh, Jackery Explorer 1500 Pro. It's a uh, solar power generator, um, and we've used a couple of different uh, Jackery products so far. One is, uh, the primary one is a Jackery 1000, and also a little uh, 300. Primarily use that on our cross-country trip to power a Iceco JP40 uh, powered cooler, um, but we've also used it while camping. If we want to uh, get a cup of coffee with our uh, Keurig over there, um, so really found them to be super useful. And right now we want to get something that's a little bit more set up to uh, life on the road in our fifth wheel. All right, so first off, let me cover a little bit of the basics of the 1500 Pro. You've got three different uh, 120 volt um, plug outputs. You've got a, a cigarette lighter DC output, um, 12 volt, 10 amp max there. The three 120 volts are a 1800 watt pure sine wave uh, setup. And then you've also got uh, different USB. You've got USB A and C. The C's allow for faster charging of your laptop, uh, iPad, cell phone, and each bank or different choice of power is turned on and off separately. So that's kind of nice. And you also have a light. I'm not going to turn that on because it's super bright. You've got two different levels there and also an SOS. Now, different on these uh, Pro machines is the uh, way you charge it. They're all on the back side now, which is uh, kind of nice. Um, and they're also standardized cables. Um, the 120 volt input is just a standard uh, computer cable. And uh, you can charge this uh, using the 120 volt in two hours, which is uh, super fast charging. Uh, on the DC input, you can either use the uh, cigarette lighter uh, cable or connect in different solar panels uh, to this. Um, Jackery makes several different solar saga um, panels. They've got a new 200 watt panel. They've got a 100 watt panel, which we've been using. And they also have, I think, an 80 watt panel. And you can uh, daisy chain those together to get all kinds of input for super fast charging there as well. So just plugged uh, in here real quick just to show you uh, what's what. The uh, output screen on this is super cool. Um, it tells you how many watts are going in and how long it will take using that form of charging before it's completely charged as well as your output there, um, which you've seen before. And all we've got running right now is the uh, Starlink. So since we're basically uh, pretty well topped off, it's 98%, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect and just run through a few different things as if uh, we were off the grid and wanting to use uh, power um, from the Jackery instead of, um, our house batteries or our uh, generator on the uh, motorhome itself. All right, gonna run a couple other uh, appliances uh, through this test just to show you what it can do. We've got a uh, Keurig going right now, plus uh, our Starlink is still going, and we are at 1422 watts. So at that level, it can only go for 0.9 hours, but thankfully uh, running a cup of coffee through a Keurig isn't gonna take 0.9 hours. So uh, we are at 96% right now. And uh, the Keurig definitely draws quite a bit. So uh, that's a good test. I like to be able to run off the uh, Jackery uh, make a cup of coffee in the morning. Sometimes I'm up early somewhere where you can't run a generator. And this is the quiet way to be able to make a cup of coffee when uh, uh, that's the case. All right, so uh, the Keurig is uh, hot. Did a little preheat there. And a 
co coffee through. You can see we're down to 39 watts, so that's mostly just a Starlink. Um, Starlink does uh, vary power-wise between like 40 watts and up to 80 something at some points. Um, and now the Kurg is kicked back in thinking it's got to get ready for another cup of coffee. Um, and we're down to 93% now. Um, so as soon as this is uh, done brewing, we'll go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so cup of coffee. Next thing we'll try here is a uh, hot water uh, kettle. It's got probably a cup and a half, two cups of water in there. Click that on. Another heating device that uses quite a bit of uh, power, right about the same as the uh, Keurig. So with the Starlink on, and the uh, tea kettle, we're at uh, 1459, 93%, but handles it no problem. <laughs> All right, we are boiling rapidly. And uh, let's see, that's still using 1457 watts, and we're down to uh, 88 percent on the uh, jackery still boiling like crazy and let's turn that off so that was a pretty good amount of water definitely more than a cup if you're making tea in the morning so definitely can handle that too all right how about a toaster these guys are notorious for using a lot of energy see what this uses wow not as much as the uh, Keurig or the tea kettle it's 868 so between the toaster and the Starlink uh, we're at 865 we could go for 1.4 hours at that current draw all right I think that toast is about done yep uh, see where we're at 85 percent and uh, 31 watts going out uh, that's for the Starlink again so we're down to 85 made a cup of coffee a uh, heated up some uh, water in the tea kettle made a piece of toast and ran the uh, Starlink for about an hour so far and uh, we could still run the Starlink at 25 more hours if that's the only thing we were doing. All right, let's see if this uh, space heater will work. Uh, I know for a fact this thing burns a lot of energy. Um, let's see if uh, the 1000 Pro can handle this too. Yeah, we're up at uh, 1436. Uh, uh, 1480 watts or so, 84%. Uh, but that's definitely kicking out some heat. This one's got a fan on it as well. So uh, it uses quite a bit of power. But uh, if you wanted to heat the place up for 15 minutes or so in the morning, uh, Jackery could do it. It's pretty impressive. We'll let this thing go for. Uh, maybe five minutes or so just to uh, get a little bit more of a test out of it. All right, heater's been going for over five minutes now. Let's see where we're at with the jackery. So uh, output's uh, dropping we're down to 76%. And again, we're, we're still running the Starlink. All right, so I've got the fifth wheel plugged into shore power, and I am going to go ahead and plug the jackery in just to see what kind of 
rate um, we get for charging and how long it thinks it's going to take uh, to do that. So again, on the screen, you get input and output, which is really cool. Um, we're drawing 46, 36 uh, watts there, just kind of varies. And that's all from the Starlink and also charging my phone. And it could run that for 99.9 .9 hours, probably because we're plugged in here. And um, right now, input from uh, the, the fastest way to charge this is a 120 volt uh, plug from the back. And it's saying we will be done in uh, 0.9 hours and 542 watts coming in, which is uh, really cool. So uh, really big feature on this. It, it, this is a 1500 watt capacity and being able to charge it within two hours when you're plugged in is phenomenal. All right, we've got another test going here. We've got a bread maker. We're making a two pound a loaf of rosemary garlic uh, bread and it's supposed to take three hours. Um, right now it's drawing 52 watts. It was 131 a second ago, um, but it's just in the mixing stage. So um, obviously this has got a heating element because it's gonna break the bread. We'll see if it can uh, last uh, three hours and make it happen. All right, a little over an hour in, and uh, we haven't used much power yet at all. Uh, hour 48 to go. So I think it's still rising, and uh, we're going to hit the bake uh, pretty soon. And we'll check back in another uh, hour and a half or so. All right, progress report on the uh, loaf of bread that we're baking. Um, we're at 56% and it's drawing, uh, 683 watts. We've got another 1.1 hours, uh, if it was at that rate, but it looks like it's cycling. Um, so the heat on this, uh, during the bake mode isn't constant. Um, and we've got 24 minutes remaining on the bake. So we're looking good. All right. The bread is done. We are down to 46%. It's just got uh, one watt output. That's probably just for, for the screen there. Uh, a little finished up 10 minutes ago. It's just in keep warm mode. And uh, it's all good. So that worked as well. Three hours and we got a loaf of bread. All through uh, the Jackery 1500 Pro. All right. We are down to 31%. Uh, Starlink has been running for a couple more hours. It's currently drawing uh, 50 watts. So it looks like we could run at that burn rate for another 5.9 hours. So in summary, we've run our Starlink for three hours total. We've made one cup of coffee. Uh, we had the tea kettle going for boiling probably uh, three cups of water. Um, we went ahead and uh, made a piece of toast. Um, we had the uh, heater going for five minutes. And then we also baked a, a loaf of bread with the uh, bread maker that took three hours. So all told on the Explorer 1500 Pro, it did all that and we're still 31%. Uh, and uh, we can plug this thing back in and uh, it would charge up to full charge in um, probably less than two hours. Let me plug it in now and see what it says. Um, it does have uh, super fast charging, which is uh, awesome. Uh, let's see, it's putting in 495 watts right now and it's saying 2.3 hours to fully charged. So that's one real nice thing about the uh, the pro versions is the the fast charge rate 400 and or basically 500 watts of input power is uh, off the charts. That's awesome.